Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another brand new video here on the channel. Today, I'm showing you guys how to complete all of the week 4 challenges in Fortnite. This is a complete guide on how to do every single challenge. I'm showing you guys specifically what you need to do and exactly how to complete every single one. So without further ado, I say we go ahead and get right into it. Make sure to drop this video a like if you do enjoy, of course. And if you guys want to support me even more, make sure to use code HEYITSBENJ in the Fortnite item shop it's just all one word i really do appreciate everyone who is using my code and also if you guys want to get a shout out in my next video go on my twitter or on my instagram and follow me both of them are just hey it's ben j and if you show me proof that you use my code in the item shop i'll give you a shout out it's as simple as that but anyway let's get right into the video so starting off with the very first challenge search chests at salty springs this one is pretty straightforward there's plenty of chest spawns at salty springs i mean there's a very few houses there i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be very crowded for this weekly challenge but hey salty has been in the game ever since like the start of fortnite so i'm assuming you guys are pretty familiar with all of the chest spawns at salty springs pretty straightforward you only need to search seven chests and that challenge is complete next eliminations at holly hedges for this you need to get three limbs once again another pretty straightforward challenge you don't really need to do too much besides be decent at the game you know this one might take a little bit longer because holly hedges isn't exactly like in the middle of the map it's kind of towards the edge a little bit but I mean, if you keep dropping here every game, you could definitely get this challenge done in like one to three games max. Next, collect floating rings at Pleasant Park. For this, you need to only collect one ring. Now, on your screen right now is a little showcase of a few different ring locations at Pleasant Park. Like I just said, you only need to collect one ring. However, there's a few you can get. There's one like towards the boat here by the front. There's one like on the zip line, little pedestal thing. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, realistically, if you land anywhere near the zip line, you can just collect them there. There's like four you can get. So another pretty easy and straightforward challenge complete next complete a lap at motorboat mayhem for this You need to only do one lap now the motorboat mayhem is near uh, what's it called? I I'm blanking out hold on boys. Uh, let me look at the gameplay Uh, it's just north of misty meadows. That's what I meant to say. I knew that trust me All you have to do is hop in a boat You kind of wait for the thing to start and you go through these gigantic rings now in the gameplay I kind of get confused I think my game glitches out a little bit here because like some random rings start spawning and they're not ready Registering when I go through them. It was kind of weird because I went through them, but they didn't disappear like they're supposed to. So I thought I was doing something wrong, but I eventually just found my way towards the end and it completed a lap. So there you go. That's all you have to do. Once again, another straightforward challenge. I got you guys, okay? Next, land at Frenzy Farm and finish top 25. This one, it pretty much depends on your skill level. Landing at Frenzy Farm is very easy to do. You just drop there, nothing else to it. And I'm not gonna lie, this season, I feel like people die a lot quicker than they did back in the day. Like literally we'll be closing in on like the second or third circle and there will only be like five people left It's crazy. So getting the top 25 shouldn't really be too hard for you Especially if the battle bus isn't really going towards frenzy farm at all You can land at frenzy get a few decent weapons, you know and just stay up till top 25 It's as simple as that next collect metal from rickety rig for this You need to collect 200 metal now at first this might seem like a lot However, rickety rig is pretty much just all metal like there's fences There's like piles of metal on the sides of the island Islands. There's just a bunch of stuff that contains metal So if you go to the island that I'm landing at right here in the gameplay It shows I'm getting like a hundreds of metal per thing. However, I was in battle lab So that's not like the realistic number But trust me if you spend a game or two just dropping at this specific island I go to in the gameplay and just hitting literally everything because everything's metal You'll get to 200 metal very easily and very quickly No doubt about it next dance on camera for 10 seconds at sweaty sands for this Obviously you need to dance for 10 seconds now you actually need to go to the boardwalk for this I thought it was going to be in that building where the dance floor is however it's on the boardwalk there's like this little setup with a dance pad and a huge camera all you need to do is pop an emote on the dance pad and sit there for 10 seconds and just like that that challenge will be complete next search ammo boxes at steamy stacks for this you need to search seven ammo boxes now if you take the exact route I'm doing in this gameplay right here you'll definitely get seven ammo boxes right away they're pretty prevalent in steamy stacks I'm not gonna lie like every room pretty much has one so like I just said if you follow my steps in the gameplay here you'll complete this challenge in one game if not like two or three and finally deal damage to opponents at the authority for this you need to deal 500 damage another pretty straightforward challenge land at the authority every single game just bang this challenge out 500 damage isn't really too much it's like a few kills so once again if you get lucky this will take you one game but it'll probably take you anywhere from like two to three maybe even four games if you're trash like me but anyway thank you guys all so much 
much for watching this weekly challenge guide. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.